Hi, this is Stephen from Just Got Played, and today we're going to take a look at QE Commodities, uh, an expansion to the board game QE. And see, this was designed by Gavin Birnbaum, but this is actually designed by Jonathan Gilmore. Uh, today I'm also going to take a look at the Alternate Art Checks by Ian O'Toole, which is uh, you know just a promo that you can get essentially for the game. All right, so boardgametables.com. They've actually recently rebranded themselves as All Play, since obviously they make a lot more than just board game tables now. They've gotten into the publishing game, not only with QE, but I have the uh, reprint of Basket Boss was from them. Uh, all right, plus, you know, a lot of other things. That's just what I have. All right, so it's a flimsy box, but I don't care. I'm gonna throw that away and put everything in the base game box. Assuming it fits, which I think there's plenty of room in there for that. All right, what do we have here? We have the contents, right? Commodity tiles, board extensions, a rule sheet, setup, gameplay, no more victory points for bidding zero. All right, and the second highest bid matters, which is pretty, what's probably the most interesting thing about this, but you do have gold, crypto, and oil, infrequently used rules, that's pretty funny. Uh, and final scoring. All right, well, what do we got here? Let's see. So these are the board extensions. All right. So this is where you record, I guess, when you're the auctioneer, what the second highest bid was. I think that's what you record on that side, maybe, uh, because that actually reduces your total uh, in the end, total spend. Um, and then I don't know if this is just for scoring at the end of the game, I guess, because there's crypto, gold and oil. All right. And then, yeah, right. So that's how many points you get from each of those and then the commodity credit. So, yeah, that's just uh, one for each of the uh, six. I don't want to say nations, but uh, economic groups. Um, all right. Now, what do we got here? All right. So there's a bunch of these tiles. So let's punch a, some of these out. These are uh, is that oil, I guess. That looks like an oil, Derek. All right. So these are the oil tiles. Uh, these ones are worth five. I think they vary uh, in the amount. And then I guess you write in there. What you paid when you got it. I'm uh, not entirely sure. Let's have a look at some more. Uh, is that crypto, I guess? Uh, all right, crypto. Those are, yeah, it says crypto right there. So those are the eights. These are nice. I mean, this is nice quality cardboard here. All right, we have gold, right? So those are sevens. Um, something about gold is if the market is empty at the end of the game, then these are worth half, maybe as much. Something like that. But they definitely get devalued if there's a run uh, on the market. So here you go. Here's some more oil. And there's a five and a four. Okay, so we had two fives earlier and there's a four. Uh, we've got more crypto, 10 and zero. You know, yeah, that's the uh, swingy nature of crypto, I guess. Uh, a couple more gold, six and a seven. Some more oil, fours. Okay. More crypto, two and a five. And some more gold, six. All right, there you go. So uh, yeah, rules, board extensions, commodity tiles. That's what you get. All right, well, let's take a look at this uh, promo, which I threw in with the order. Uh, it was like four uh, extra dollars to throw that in there. Let's see if I can get the plastic off. All right, and we can compare actually to the one out of the base game. All right, so here is China. All right, if we flip it over, there's China. What do we got next? We have the EU. All right. Huh? So there you go. I mean, these are you now the same size and quality, so. Uh, no real surprise there. Uh, next is Japan. All right. I do. I mean, I do like the artwork of the new version. I wasn't entire. You know, it was just four dollars. I thought I would throw it in there and see. Uh, the, you know, the base game is perfectly serviceable, but you know, the new the new artwork uh, is nice. Um, all right. Here's the UK. <laughs> I do, I do like Big Ben uh, better than, you know, whatever that is actually. Curious what that is, because that doesn't speak to me, but I don't know, like a druid or something. Uh, uh, okay. 
All right. There's the UK with the pounds. And they've got the greenback, American dollar. <laughs> that, that eagle, that is a, a war war eagle, maybe, <laughs> with lightning. Um, and uh, versus, say, the Statue of Liberty. So, I don't know. I mean, the art on uh, the Ian O'Toole stuff looks better to me, but the concept, I think, in the base game, some of them are better. But, I mean, I get it. You don't want to just have another Statue of Liberty or something, but... Uh, yeah, there you go. So those are those extra promo tiles. If you, uh, you know, I ordered this directly from the company, uh, which, as I said, now is called All Play. Uh, and you just threw this into the order for an extra four bucks. But there you go. All right. Well, if you have any questions about QE or the commodities expansion or any of these uh, accessory promo, you know, alternate art bidding tiles, just let me know. You can leave a comment here on YouTube, or if you look in the description of the video, uh, there is a link to our Discord channel. You can come talk uh, about stuff there. You can ask uh, questions um, or, you know, just anything about games or whatever. You know, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. Um, and, yeah, yeah, there's links to follow us on social media if you are wanting to do any of that. And... You know, give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. But yeah, until the next time, thanks for joining me.